basket. He's been missing on the outside. He's got four in the ball game right now. He has been cut down somewhat to 15 with still five minutes and 11 seconds left here in the third quarter. In Ember San Miguel playing with five team fouls to the two of the Milk Masters. Kennedy looking for a cutter, doesn't find any. Tries to work the baseline. That's going to be a body foul against Amon Cordinera. That'll be his third personal foul and the 16th foul of Ginebra San Miguel. Compared to only two for great taste. So something working against Ginebra, they might get into penalty early here in the third quarter. And great taste with a good inside game could get them into trouble. Here is Atoiko. He's got 12 points. Looking for Kennedy. And Kennedy trying to disengage from Amon Cordinera. He's been playing it very close. That's going to be the 17th foul and the fourth personal foul of Cordinera. Seems to be the only one who can guard Kennedy at this point. Now with Ducot with five. And Carbonilla really not strong enough to push Kennedy out of the paint. There's a bad pass by Philip. Miscommunication between him and Abe King. But you know, you now, you now find uh, Hineber San Miguel in penalty situation with a lot of time. 7 and 35 to go here in the third. That's right. Something that's going to work against them here. Good defense being... Uh, Shown here by great taste. Cheeto with another driving play. That deflected by Kennedy. And Fabio Sassandran is coming in from the fast lane. Checks himself. Atoiko hits the open man. Back again to him from Cesar. That's such a great play. A handoff by Philip. At the same time providing the screen for Atoy who came up with a jumper. Atoy has scored well here in the third quarter after sitting out the second. Andy, you're right. He's key here. Contributing nine points out of his 14. Cordillera is open. He's got to connect. Short. Unlike last Sunday. Yes, nothing's falling for them at this point, especially the outside game and another foul by Gonzalo. That's a lot of savvy coming from Fabiosa. Pretended to look at Cesar and then went for the stretch through the foul. And we have a timeout. Missing the first one and uh, trying to go and convert the second one. And he does. It is now 80-62 for Great Taste. Time is down to 3 and 53 here in the third. In Ever San Miguel in penalty situation. Only two team fouls by Great Taste. Jaworski at the corner. He'll take it. Cesar has dominated the rebounds. He has pulled down 13 rebounds, 9 and 3. Yes, he got the majority of his uh, rebounds in the uh, first quarter of the uh, ball game. Philip quite refreshed. They go to the uh, low post game of Kennedy, who comes up with a very poor shot. Ball the King for a moment had it. Yes, ball taken away from his hands by Sonny Jaworski, who just never stops trying. There's going to be a foul, plus the shot is going to be probably counted because it was trapped by Kennedy. Watch it once more. This will confirm the statement of Andy. No, they didn't count it, although the ball was trapped there very clearly by Kennedy. Alan Kaidek all set to check right back. Dante Gonzalo. He'll take two from the 15-foot uh, line. By the way, watch out for a very special production on the exploits of the Filipino boxer Luisito Espinosa. Espinosa in the making of a champion soon on PTD4. Gonzalo misses the uh, second free throw. Ko is being lifted by Alan Kaidek who came into the ball game. Saw some action in the uh, second quarter. Jumper by Fabiosa. Bates clears the rebound. And the ball is taken away by Abe King. Quick hands by Abe King. And Kai Dick converts it into goal. Even Bates is suffering from uh, turnover sickness. If there's such a word as turnover situs, he's got it. Because uh, they're not taking care of the ball. You know, the ball to them is a precious thing at this point. In this ball game. Here is Cordinera. Score standing 82-63 for great chase. It's a rainbow shot coming from Dynamite. He now has seven, all happening here in the third, Andy. Yes, you know, that's one thing that uh, he never has to work on in the future games, you know. Is if their outside shot fails, then because of their lack of ceiling in the inside game, they really have very few chances for coming up with rebounds. So that's what's telling against them in this ball game up to this point. And there's another, oh, there's going to be an offensive foul probably. Well, that almost blew the head of Armand Cordillera. No, there's a foul on Cordillera and then another foul called on Kennedy. Well, prior to that foul called against uh, Amakondina, watch it once more. 
the foul is called on Cordinera because of the penalty situation Kennedy will take two but there's an, a, pen, a technical foul called on Kennedy for extra motions Chito Leisaga going to the 15 foot line the captain ball and missing the free throw <laughs> Sunday Tuesday is like night and day <laughs> night and day like the other end of the year you know. <laughs> no, the foul was committed by Cordinera they are in penalty so that'll mean two free throws for Kennedy well, Harman Cordinera is now playing with five personal fouls and the reason that you can't see Joker is because he had to be pulled out also with the same situation, five personal fouls. 32 points now for Kennedy as he makes the first free throw. We have Arnie Twadless into the ball game for Bernard Fabiosa. Kennedy has pulled down 10 rebounds, coming up with one shot block. That was his ninth point out of 33 right here in the third. Still an 18-point lead, a very commanding lead being enjoyed by a great taste. Here comes Dynamite from Rainbow Country. Two in a row for Chito Loisaga. It's funny, he missed the 15-foot shot and molested. This one was a three-point shot that had to be taken over an outstretched arms of the defensive man, and he makes it. It's a 15-point lead being enjoyed by great taste. 84-69. A minute and 48. Follow the time in your inset. Back rim shot coming from Alan Kai Dick. And we'll end up with a jump ball. Kennedy and Billy Ray Bates exchanging glances. Nobody blinked, but definitely a smile from Kennedy. Hey, they, it's me, buddy. And they hold hands downstairs after the call. You can see that the intensity level for Billy is there. He wants to win the ball game very badly. He's always been a winner in his trips to the Philippines. And this game could spoil it for them. Good save, and Danny Gonzalgo swatted it away, being pressed by Abbe King all the way through, and Abbe King almost went right over the board. That was tenacity spelled with a capital P on the part of Dante Gonzalgo. A very difficult steal coming from a blind side, just struggling to keep the ball alive. There's the foul by Abbe King. He still tries to throw it up, hoping for a chance to make it. <laughs> Incidentally, right after this match comes our best player choice, who will be gifted with a pack from home pride noodles great taste has had a lot of locals that have played well so far in this ball game he never has very few although Gonzalo and Chito Doisaga has distributed here in the third quarter here is Twadless you know the fact that you pointed out when uh, before we started this ball game uh, and it was that the local lineup of great taste can probably be considered the strongest on paper but somehow in the previous games they seem to be missing the heart but they do have it and what up they're showing it today Chito Leisaga in the three-point territory now taking it in has a chance for a three-point play on that foul by Twadless you know he had to follow it up he had to look at that he had a twisting neck and somehow he's just trying to apply some body English the captain ball is alive Chito Leisaga is the captain ball of this team he's alive he's trying to bring his team back and he's doing it every which way that he can well he's pounding now the attempts and uh, he has some uh, high level of frustration during the first half couldn't buy a basket and here is a quality player averaging 14 coming up with zero of the half and he's making it up right here in the third quarter for his 13th point you know that really shows Cesar knows the game he was mad at his teammates for allowing Chito an easy follow-up for his first two points and now Chito is on the road and once you get started just keeps on coming there's a good jumper there and a good follow-up by uh, Daryl Kennedy. Another offensive rebound there for Kennedy. Good hand control by Kennedy. For a moment, I thought it was going to slip through his hands. Time down to 40 seconds here in the third quarter. Slip through the hands of Dante Gonzalgo. Arnie Twadle is trying to push it up. Most of the white shirts are refreshed except for Kennedy, who's been, who has not been lifted uh, from this ball game. No? At the corner is Abbe King. Kayadik. There's a cut by, oh, what a slight play. Simple, very basic, but very effective. That's right. Another good play there by the uh, Milk Masters. They have a 16-point lead with only 10 seconds left. Another three-point shot. Force one by Chito. Still an opportunity for the Milk Masters to come up with a score. Three and three. Kaidik from the wings is open. You know he can score. It is 92-74. Great taste at the end of the third. Number San Miguel with some lineup changes. The Isago brothers are together. Only six seconds left on the shot clock for great taste. And there's a very poor pushing foul there by Joey to give up at this point, you know, because uh, shot clock was winding up on great taste and they were still about 40 feet away from the basket. And that was the fourth personal foul called against Joey Loisaga. 
traveling violation called against Carpio there. Great taste shot, a fantastic 74% from the field in the third quarter compared to 42 for Ginebra. Controlled the boards 15 to 5. Had 14 points on fast break compared to 6 for Ginebra. Here are some revealing facts. Jaworski averaging 11 points and ever since he came off the bench has not bought a basket. Yes, so far he has not really taken some shots at it. No? Billy covered very well by Abe King and a bound shot by Billy, a difficult one. On the other hand, Alan Kadik uh, couldn't find the range. He normally averages just below 15 points uh, per game and started slow. Knocked in two baskets during the third quarter. Nice pass and a good complete play by Abe King, who's now beginning to score steadily. Uh, there's Sadi Jaworski still missing. And they were trying to trap Kennedy, who breaks up with his usual smile and. Uh, <laughs> He can take it. The foul is going to go against Robert Jaworski. That'll be his first personal foul and the second team foul against Ginebra San Miguel. Jaworski all set to slap it away from him and there was a little elbow coming from Kennedy accidentally. Two and one break for the red shirts. Joey Loisaga trying to take it against Arnie. He has a chance for a three-point play. Arnie giving up the foul a little bit too late. And that'll be his third personal foul. Score right now is 94-78 for Great Taste. Still a 16-point lead for Great Taste. Those were the first two points for Joey Loisaga, who had a fantastic evening about four nights ago. I covered that game, and he finished the first half alone with 25 points, finishing the ball game with 32, I think. Well, That's Joey's production, Andy, is like a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. When you look at the average, he's just uh, hitting uh, seven points per game. Bongo trying something different here, using Arnie Twadlis as the point guard. A turnaround by Carpio. Abe King, back tap, going to the wrong man. Here is Twadlis hitting the open man. Difficult shot. Got blocked from Dynamite Lois Saga. Well, the adjustments has to be made quickly on the part of Bongo, taking out Carpio, putting in a legitimate point guard in the person of Fabiosa. It was fantastic uh, sub-coaching uh, job here by Bongo, following the pattern set up by Coach Baby D, and then some, all to the credit of Bongo, facing right. of men. That's right, partner. Go, go. Kennedy finally found it. Here comes the Spitfire, the Black Superman. Being pressed by Kennedy, looks for the opening. And Page just has to work extra hard. He has 39 in the ball game right now, which is 18 still below his average of a 57 per ball game. We still have nine minutes and 40 seconds left. A 13-point lead being enjoyed by the Milk Masters. Great pace, up but, on top. But you know, partner, Kennedy is quite steady. Had 14 during the first, then adding another 10. Had 24 at the half, and then 11 out of his 35. On the chase! Jaworski, yes. Left-handed layup, his first two uh, points. The inside game of uh, Daryl Kennedy, there's going to be a reaching in foul called against Joey, and that's his fifth. You know, it seems that Joey can't get into the rhythm of the ball game. He's trying to reach in too much to come up with the interceptions. It's not an easy thing to do against a guy who handles the ball very well like Fabiosa. You could do it probably against a, a quad list from time to time, but Fabiosa is... Look, look at Bates there. There's a goal pending, however, called against him. Kennedy now scoring his first basket here in the fourth quarter, total of 37. Watch it once more, goaltending against Billy Ray Bates. Odinera is playing with five personal fouls, same as Joey Loy Saga. Chito in the three-point territory, going to Bates right now at low post. Ball tapped away by Abe, 12 seconds left on the shot clock for Ginebra. You know, Abe King is trying to overplay Billy Ray Bates, and what he wants to do is deny passes intended for Bates down to uh, seven seconds on the shot clock. Chito takes it in off the glass and he makes it. So Chito really has helped a lot in the second half of play. Now he's a turnaround man, having nothing during the first and he's been averaging 14. Now he's got 15 points and two rainbow shots in the third quarter. You know, they have to die to win this ball game. They have to do it because they get a rest anyway on Thursday. And if they lose this one, it could be curtains for them here in this conference. A rare miss coming from Kennedy and on the offensive rebound by Billy Ray Page. The fourth personal foul is going to go against Abe King. Philip Cesar coming into the ball game for Arnie Tuates. We have a timeout here in the fourth quarter. We'll be back. Eight minutes and ten seconds to go. Fourth and last quarter. Great taste in front by 11 points. They had it at 21. 
Dynamite from the corner. Good setup play there by Billy Ray Bates. Cheeto has really come a long way here in the second half. The lead has been cut down 11. Yes. And uh, that could have been a pretty good time out there by Bongo to stop the momentum of Ginebra, which he could see coming. Try to set up the players. A three-point shot by Kai Dick offline. Last touch called against uh, Philip Cesar, which is a pretty good call. Cheeto had good position, and Philip had to tap the ball from behind. So it went out. I wonder, though, if... It's from Ginebra San Miguel in foul trouble. Billy Ray Bates in Rainbow Country. Crouching low is Ade King. They need one from Joey. It's a long shot from the outside. Sunny there. And there's going to be another foul on Abe King. You know, for one who is 21, trying to go for the offensive rebound, stretching the way Jaworski did, you'll find that normal. That's right. You know, Sunny is a pretty good offensive and defensive rebounder. Three-point shot by Billy Ray Bates. This is a big one, partner. This is a big one. Six-point lead. And things are beginning to happen now for Hinebra San Miguel. And Bongo on his feet, calling the six-man. Oh, and there's a bad pass caused by the pressing play. And Bongo asks for a timeout. When we resume play, Joey Loisaga hit one from the corner to bring it down to a four-point lead for great taste. Cordillera trying to overplay, trying to deny a pass intended for Kennedy, but that'll do it for him because of six personal fouls with six and 45. He played well, though, defensively against uh, Daryl Kennedy. That's why Jaworski risked his staying on the court despite five personal fouls. No choice now but to call Carbonilla into... Uh, the action to go up against Kennedy. He never really trying to force Great Taste not to score in this end. And there is a good move there by Kennedy. So he'll take two from the 15 foot line. Thing goes. And Bates trying to be the swing man in the area of defense. And an 18 to 4 roll posted here by Ginebra San Miguel. Keep in mind that when we started the fourth and last quarter, it was an 18 point lead being enjoyed by Great Taste. Kennedy misses the first. They're really disturbed by the movements now of Inebra. Kennedy missing. The lead has been cut down to four. There's a lot of time. But stamina is going to be the factor that could tell against Inebra. Six and a half minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Kennedy. 38 points. Three right here in the fourth quarter. Bates. 42. Knocking in seven. And here in the second half, three rainbow shots. Being pressed by Cesar. There's a cut by Jaworski. No choice. Sa uh, Philip Cesar and Fabiosa double teaming on Billy Ray Bates. They forgot Sonny Jaworski calling for their teammates to cover the middle ground. Sonny had an easy layup for himself. And great taste must continue to bring up the concentration. The six man. Three point shot by Carpio. A big one, too. And you know, Andy, that is not really his forte. Because during the past 14 games, Carpio has only taken 10 attempts, knocking in 5 for 50%. Here comes Fabiosa. He gets away. Down shifting. Hits the open man. Atoyko almost had it. Hilary Ray Bates is foul on the defensive rebound. Let's see who the foul is going to be called against. Probably on Cole. It'll be the fourth personal foul against Atoy. Great taste in front by 6. 100 to 94 of Inebra San Miguel. Time down in foul trouble three-point shot there by joey loisaga you know atoy really baited him to go for that one because uh, there was no chance for a rebound play but joey just scored and the lead has been cut down again to three joey loisaga was off beat during the first three quarters now finding the range knocking in eight points and one rainbow shot all happening here in the fourth quarter it's a three-point lead being enjoyed by great taste and we have a foul away from the ball carbonilla giving up the foul against kennedy Swing foul, trying to hook <laughs> Kennedy from going into the lane. And here is where the players of Inerva San Miguel will have to be aware of their situation and team fouls. They're carrying already six, and that'll be the seven. They're now in penalty situation. The foul going against Dynamite, that'll be his third personal. When you take a lot of chances, we have a timeout first. Bingo. We'll talk about that later. Time left, five minutes and five seconds, fourth and last quarter. It's a three-point game being enjoyed by Great Taste. They had it at 21. 
Here is the six man going to the open man and Co well, delivers. Co continues to score from the outside. Back to a five point lead right now for a taste. He never called that timeout, so they have one timeout here in the fourth quarter compared to two that have been called by a great case. Billy takes it strong and scores over three guys there in that last play. He got away from two. Kennedy waited for him, but the black Superman was flying. 102-99 is the score. Four and a half minutes left in the ball game. He never San Miguel in penalty situation as opposed to only four being carried by great taste. That was hard from Fabiosa. A baiting foul. Made by Sunny, made by uh, Bernard Fabiosa, Jaworski came up with a foul. By the way, the first five-day racing festival in Philippine history will be on from November 28th to December 2nd. The Ninoy Aquino Racing Festival, the Philippine Racing Commission's way of celebrating Ninoy's first anniversary. That's a Saturday, Sunday, all the way up to Wednesday. Hey, we have a vintage cup at stake there. That's right, partner. Five-point lead because of the two free throws of uh, Bernard Fabiosa. Great taste managing to stem the tide of Ginebra. Double team being clamped on Billy. Back again to Joey. He's in rainbow territory again. He misses this time. There's going to be a pushing foul, however, called him. Maybe Abe King. He pushed away Chito Loisaga, I think. That's it for Abe King. His sixth and last foul happening with four minutes and seven seconds to go. Abi King, eight points and five rebounds. Two and three has had yet a tough assignment trying to contain Billy Ray Bates. I Billy Ray Bates now 44 compared to his 57 average. He, he did a pretty good job against him. He and Philip have been alternating on Billy and they've been doing good jobs against him. Carpio quickly back into the ball game. Abe barely 10 seconds into the ball game. There's Kennedy picking up uh, Billy Ray Bates. Joey stationary. Here comes the black Superman drive and draw. Joey wants to be sure, almost had it. Brother Chito for the offensive rebound. Well, because of the fact that uh, Joey is scoring from the outside, the big man came out to meet him, allowing Chito to saga an offensive rebound and the follow-up shot. 19 points now for Dynamite. Here is Fabiosa, he makes things happen. Atoiko has been very steady on its way. Another three-point shot by Ato, a killer. He has seen this ball game. Had his first one during the second quarter, and then two rainbow shots right here in the second half. Loose ball top, and it'll stay with possibly great, great taste. taste. Yes, last touch on uh, Atta has really kept them alive with these two jumpers. Uh, one of these uh, two-point shots and one with a three-point shot. Atta has knocked in 14 points here in the second half. Had his first five during the first quarter. Crouching low, Steve can do it. Looks at the time, 3 minutes and 14 to go in this ball game. They've got 13 on the shot clock. Looking for Kennedy. At the wings. Billy on him. He almost got away. Another offensive foul called on Kennedy. And that's the reason why he almost got away. He curled and at the same time he was hanging on to the waistline of Carbonilla. Well, he had no space to go into the middle. Billy was covering that. There was only one way to go to the baseline. That'll be the sixth team foul against Gray Taste. Billy in a jump shot. No rebounds again. The small man picking up the rebound. Well, Fabios has pulled down seven rebounds. Six and one. Cross pass going to Atoy Core. Carpio is open. The six man. Kennedy for the offensive rebound. What a big basket. A big one. A big one. Carpio missing a three-point shot. Kennedy with the opportunity to get it through the 15-foot line after a follow-up shot. So back to an eight-point lead. Only two minutes and 43 seconds left in this ballgame. And if he completes it, that's a lot of breathing room. But right now, we have a timeout. Point lead right now. While it was found earlier by Great Taste, it never San Miguel trying to reach in for that second win. That's right. That's what they're looking for right now. Even Billy has been uh, in and out of the uh, ball game, in and out of the scoring column. He's way below his uh, average of 57. Only 44 points for him. Those 13 points that he could really make could really help the team at this point. Three-point play completed by Kennedy. By the way, coming up next, right after our, our 10-minute uh, news break, the main game tonight with San Miguel Beer going up against Hills Brothers Coffee. Billy Ray Bates in Rainbow Country, one pump, but Atoy Coy is there to jam him. 
And look at the defense now of Great Pace. An easy inside pass, a reaching in foul committed by Fabiosa, forcing Billy to take it from the 15-foot line and not an easy layup underneath. That'll be the fourth personal foul against uh, Fabiosa, both squads over the limit. Fabiosa has also been very steady, instrumental in making the plays, aside from the fact that he scored 15 points and seven rebounds. Those were Billy's first points here. Quite a long spell brought for him here in the uh, fourth quarter. 45 points for Billy. Make that 46. Seven point lead with two minutes and 24 seconds left. Mebra must come up with the press, although both of the teams are now in penalty. No? It's winning time. Face right behind Carpio. Jaworski keeping an eye on Fabiosa. Looks for Kennedy. Kennedy can curl. Here he comes. Yes, Whoa. sir. And the foul on Jaworski. Kennedy could finish it off with a three-point play. Again. That'll be the third personal foul against Robert Jaworski. This is a nice move by Kennedy. He gets the inside lane, which is one thing that Billy has taken away from him every time Billy comes up to help. But because Billy had to guard a man on top of the key, no way for him to help. Well, Kennedy averaging 40.4 as a high of 55. Not gonna do out. Fabiosa finds the leather, takes the point, zigzagging out. A minute and 44. You can follow the time in your inset. Kennedy give and go to the six man. Almost had it. Carpio. That could have finished off in Ebra. That shot there for uh, Sonny Jaworski drives in. Cutting down the lead to eight, a minute and 33 left. But he never now must put on the press. They cannot afford to let uh, Great Pace waste the 25 seconds every time up the court. Production level of the worst happening here in the fourth quarter. He's come up with six points. Jaworski trying to go for a steal. Fabiosa. They shadowing him. They've got four on the shot clock. Backed up by... Chito Loisaga with a minute and ten. They'll still have five seconds left on their shot clock. Set up a good play. Great taste. Right now enjoying an eight-point lead with the score of 113-105. Great taste. That was a very good pass by Philip. He waited for the cut of Kennedy. Did not go to Carpio. Went to Kennedy with a good percentage pass there. And Kennedy again will take two from the 15-foot line. Drew the fourth foul from Robert uh, Jaworski. Kennedy at 24 during the first half. Added Kennedy. another 11 for 35 at the end of the third. Kennedy very consistent from the line here in the second half compared to the first half. It's a nine-point lead with only a minute and eight. Things are bleak now for Hinebra, but there was that miss by uh, Kennedy on his second free throw. Inside the Jaworski. And he misses a point-blank range. Last touch, great taste. Time ticks away, under a minute, 57 to go, and we have a time. Again, San Miguel, things are going to look bleak for them because they might, even if they win on their last game, they might not make it with 10 wins, you know. So it's not, no, it might no longer be in, under their control. A three-point shot by Chito Loisaga, Bates with a follow-up shot coming out of nowhere. Time down to 50 seconds, there's a seven-point lead now, being enjoyed by Great Tate. The pressure is on. The Toronto Trap Cesar. They have to give up some fouls to stop the clock. Philip will go to the 15-foot line. Foul on Gonzalgo. His third personal foul. Still a seven-point lead. Only 44 seconds left in the ball game. If they should go on to lose this one, the most they can have is 10. And if uh, Hills Brothers can pick up a victory tonight, that would be their 10th game with still two games to go. The same number that San Miguel has left in the second round. Philip making the first free throw for only his fifth point of the ball game. He got the four points in the first quarter. Oh, during the first half, he was dominating the boards, and right now, he's got uh, 13 rebounds. Dante Gonzalo will try it from Rainbow Country. Cesar was there to deflect it. And this is a one-ball game now for great pace. At this point, with only 30 seconds up by nine, he never needs three miracles, three rainbow shots, actually. How they wish it were Sunday. They couldn't miss last Sunday. Here comes Cesar. Gets tagged by Robert Jaworski. That'll send Cesar to the line. Jaworski's fifth personal foul, Andy. Yes. This is a big one for great taste. A pride-winning ball game. There you can see the uh, forlorn face of uh, assistant coach Rino Salazar. 
And uh, we will not turn over during this time of being asked by Bongo. And the uh, team like Great Taste, with no pressure at all, with such a lot of talent, you give them the opportunities and they really know how to hold on to a commanding lead. Joey Lissaga and Jaworski playing with uh, five personal fouls. The Spitfire will take it from Rainbow Country. Couldn't do it. Lead pass, Cesar by him, is lonesome. Kennedy was the first one to tap the hands of uh, Billy Ray Bates. He walks out of the court shaking his head. Final score, 119. Great taste. 107.